Uh-huh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really fun video all about graphic tees today. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of trying on and then also kind of sharing some like styling tips of how I like to wear graphic tees. And I say this is a graphic tee video, but really it's almost like it's a band tee video because my favorite graphic tees to wear are band tees. So I think that these are all band tees I'm going to be showing you. So yeah, just going to be trying them on, sharing some styling tips, and chat about graphic tees. Mainly band tees. I think all band tees. Let's get to it. Okay, so first off is this one that I'm wearing right now. I actually hadn't gathered this one to show you guys and try on for y'all, but I was wearing it today, so I figured I might as well show it to you and show you how I styled it. So yeah, it's a cute little no doubt t-shirt. It almost looks like, um, Oh, I don't know, like graffiti or something. And then this looks like neon lettering. And then the background kind of looks like, um, hopefully you can see it. I need to clean the mirror. Looks like um, brick or something. And I like that it looks a little bit kind of washed out and like a burnout sort of a look to it. One of my favorite places to find graphic tees, especially band tees, Hot Topic. Oh my goodness, they have so many cute t-shirts. And they have cute ones in store, but they have, I mean, infinitely more online. I get almost all of mine online because they just have so much more stock, availability, options. So I get a lot of my shirts from Hot Topic online. So yeah, this one is super cute. I love the length of it. Sizing wise, and I'll get to more of theirs in a second. Um, sizing in theirs, if it says, like just check the description, if it says men's sizes, then I typically get an extra small if it's offered. If not, I get a small and that totally works. Um, but if it says women's sizes or junior sizes, I size up to a small, sometimes even a medium, but most of the time a small. So this one is an extra small. I believe I will list the sizing down below for you. And then sizing, not sizing, styling, how I styled it, and this is the way that I style graphic tees a lot. It's just with some ripped denim, some distressed denim. Love this pair. It is comfortable, got some really cute rips in it. It's almost a little bit acid wash. I just love this sort of a look and like a, a really cool big bracelet, funky, interesting jewelry. I love this whole look. I think it has a very artsy, edgy sort of a look to it. And I think it just works. This is like my favorite sort of a casual outfit. I feel comfortable in this. I feel like myself in this. And I think it's just cute. So this is one way that I love to style tees. And this is a super cute one. Shifting gears over to Amazon for a little bit. Hi, honey. Um, Amazon is another place. Uh-huh. Yeah. Living his best life. Um, Amazon is another place that I definitely find some super cute graphic tees. You really have to kind of do some digging. Well, depends on how picky you are. I'm kind of picky. So I do a lot of digging to find the gems, but you can find some super cute ones. So I found some of my favorite ones that look um, definitely very vintage for sure. So this one is a Led Zeppelin one. And it's got a really cool graphic on it. It says World Tour 83. Another little styling tip of what I do with um, graphic tees, but also just t-shirts in general and just shirts in general, if they're a little bit short, you can totally just tie them or you can tuck them, but I find that frustrating. So I feel, sometimes I do that, but sometimes it's hard to get it right, especially if it's um, not a lot of material to work with. So I just take a hair tie and just use a hair tie. I don't know, <laughs> he, he loves being in here, it's so cute. Um, I don't know if it's quite as cute, but who cares? So this is what I do is just take a little hair tie and there you go. It's tied up and it kind of like gathers it and gives you a little bit more shape. Um, Amazon, I usually wear a small in theirs that I find. So yeah, this one, love the kind of creamy color on it. I think the graphic is super fun. And yes, it just, I think the, the nature of the color of it is what makes me think more vintagey. You know what I mean? It almost looks like it's worn a little bit just because it's that creamy sort of a color. So here's this one, another Amazon one. I love this one. This one is definitely one of my favorites. So let me share with you how I've styled it first and then I'll untuck it so you can see the full shirt. So Chester's taking a bath in the background, so don't mind that. <laughs> okay, so one way that I love to wear um, graphic tees is with a midi skirt 
and tucking it in. So that's what I've done here. I've got this midi skirt from Amazon and then I put on a belt with it. This is also from Amazon. So I've kind of pulled it up a little bit higher. Um, this has kind of a ruched sort of a, a back to it, which is cool. And then you've got the kind of space to be able to put a belt over it. So I've got a belt over it like this. And then I'll probably wear just um, flats or sandals with this. You could even put tennis shoes with it or like Converse, something like that. <laughs> so that's how I've styled it. I love this sort of a thing. So you can do, you can even do like a, a more um, subdued one. You don't even have to do that really. Sort of a shirt with, like a leopard print. I think that would be super cute. I love leopard print and band tees. I think that's a really fun pairing. I don't think I have one to show you today, but that would definitely be another way that I would style them is with some kind of a leopard skirt. But this one is just a solid um, midi to it. It's kind of like a linen-y sort of a fabric. I really like the fabric to it. So this is what it looks like. Let me untuck it. It looks really strange over this skirt, but let me pull it up a little bit. So you can see it says high voltage. It's ACDC. This one's definitely a long shirt. So for this one, when I've worn it with um, shorts or jeans or a denim skirt, I just do the little tie up thing. So I would do the little tie up thing on this one. But isn't the graphic fun? It's very kind of old looking. It's got this sort of burnout kind of a look like it's um, distressed and it's old. So I love the way that this looks. I love that it looks kind of older and like it's um, getting a little bit tattered and whatever. And again, it's that kind of creamy color, which I think is so fun. So yeah, I love this shirt. This is also from Amazon. I think this is so fun. Anything that looks like it's been bleached or washed out or anything like that, I just think it's so, so fun. So this is that kind of a situation. It's not the softest shirt, but it's still relatively soft and it's still very comfortable. The sleeves are a little bit longer on this one on me because it is a men's shirt. So I just roll up the sleeves. Length of it is really actually good, but I just go ahead and tie it up just so it has a little bit more interest to it. But it's a Def Leppard shirt and then it's got a really fun kind of like bleachy sort of a... Um, distressing going on and the distressing is on the back as well so yeah it just has this kind of like edgy sort of a look to it so have another pair of shorts to show you well, i think this is the first pair of shorts i've shown you actually so definitely wear graphic tees band tees a lot with shorts so i'm going to show you a couple different shorts that i wear them with so these are bermudas from american eagle i will link them for you and they are super soft and comfortable i have this wash and then a darker wash. The darker wash is a little bit thicker feeling. This one is more of a, a thin, um, but really comfortable, soft sort of a denim. And it's got that distressing along the bottom. So I like Bermudas. I think this sort of a look here is um, just really like relaxed, a little bit, um, I don't wanna say beachy, but just very relaxed looking. So I really enjoy a pair of Bermudas that have some distressing to them. I think that just gives them a little bit more of an edge and I like that sort of a look. So yeah, definitely Bermudas with graphic tees, but I like Bermudas that have some distressing to them. So here is this look. On to Forever 21. Forever 21 is definitely another place that I go on the hunt for really cute graphic tees. Always buy them online just because I don't want to try to search in store. So I always look online and that's where I purchase mine. So first off is this one right here. So this is definitely an oversized graphic tee for sure. Um, and I think that it said that in the description. So I wasn't surprised when it came in and it was oversized. There is a something on it. Chester is rolling around over there. So it is a really fun tie dye Guns N' Roses shirt. It's got this really pretty graphic on the front. It says 1988 tour. Again, it's got that kind of crackling and burnout sort of a look to it. So love that. Love the tie dye that it is black and red. It also has distressing like little cuts in the shirt, which is really fun. So I just wear it with a little um, tank thing underneath. I like to tie it up. The tie dye goes around on the back, which is really fun. So you can definitely just leave it oversized and not tie it. Let me try to show you that. So you can definitely leave it oversized if you want to, but I like to tie it up. I think that just kind of like finishes the look, but it's just a really fun, oversized, funky fun, sort of a Guns N' Roses shirt. I love this one with the black and the white and the pink writing, so cute. She's got like this 
leopard print on her gloves and then it's got the leopard in the background. It's so cute. It's like it's edgy and girly. It says Shania and I love her music. I mean, I used to jam out to her years ago, like in middle school and beyond. So I really like her music, but I love the graphic on this one. And I love black band tees. Like I love cream and black. Those are my favorites as far as band tees go. I like my favorite base color to them. Okay, so how I have this one styled. I've got it on with a pair of midi shorts. I love a good midi short because they're not Bermuda, so they're not as long, but they're not like a booty short either. So you have some length on them. These are some of my favorites from American Eagle. They're stretchy and comfortable and distressed looking, so they have a little bit of edge to them. Um, I do size up to a two in these. Normally in American Eagle, I'm like a double zero, zero, depending on the jean or short, but in their middies, I size up to a two. I think just because they're so stretchy, um, I just feel like I like a little bit more room in them. So yeah, and then I did a little tie thing once again, just an easy, get you out the door, easy peasy sort of an outfit. This one's a Van Halen one. So it says Tour of the World 1984, and it's got that kind of burnout sort of a look. So it looks like it's aged and older, Love that about it, white background to it. I love that it's colorful, but then it's got that burnout sort of a look to it. So it's got some bright fun colors, but then it's a little bit subdued at the same time. So love this shirt, tied it up once again, wearing it with midi shorts. Love, love, love to throw on a lace kimono with a band tee and shorts especially, but also with jeans, you could do it with skirts, whatever you wanna do. But I just love a lace kimono with a band tee because I think it just, it's like that leather and lace sort of a look. It is a little bit girly, but then a little bit edgy too. So it's just a really fun contrast. A lot of times I wear them with a dark one, like a black sort of a band tee, but this one I have on with the white and I still really like it. I think because it's kind of tying in the yellow in the graphic. So love this kimono. I will link this for you as well. So this is definitely probably my most often I don't know how to say that. The way that I wear a band tee the most often is usually like this, with a pair of shorts and with a lace kimono. Target is another spot that I go on the hunt for graphic tees. Again, mostly online. Sometimes I find them in store, but I can usually find some hidden gems online. So all these I purchased online. So this first one is a Johnny Cash shirt. The reason I like this one, many reasons. I love that it's black and white, but I also like that it is this really fun graphic, but it's all black and white, so it's perfect for pairing with a pattern kimono. So this is another styling tip is maybe find a, you don't have to, but usually what I do is I find a slightly more subdued sort of a graphic tee, either just a couple colors to it or just not quite as involved, and then I'll pair it with a patterned sort of a kimono. So either like a floral pattern or a palm print or something like that, or I love leopard print. Like I mentioned earlier, you can definitely pair a graphic tee with a leopard bottom. So shorts, a skirt, whatever, but also a leopard kimono is super cute too. Love this one, this one's from Amazon. I'll link it for you. And it is really soft and comfortable. It's kind of a slinky, not slinky, like a slick sort of a fabric to it. But I think it's so fun with this. And then again, the midi shorts. So yeah, I love layering graphic tees, like just under other things and just having a really funky layered sort of a look. So here's this really fun Rolling Stone shirt. This is also from Target. So sizing wise, um, Amazon, I typically get a small, Forever 21, I usually get a small, Target, I usually get a small. And then I already mentioned about Hot Topic. If it's men's sizes, I get an extra small or small if I need to, if they don't offer an extra small. But if it is juniors or women's sizes, I usually get a small. Okay, so that's kind of sizing info. So here is this one. I'll untuck it so you can see the full graphic in just a second, but it's their name there. And then the typical Rolling Stones graphic there. So how I styled it this time is with a really cute acid wash, sort of a denim skirt, got some kind of minor distressing on it, love the distressing, then paired it with a belt I tucked in the shirt. Again, leopard. I just think leopard goes with band tees, graphic tees. I think it just like, I don't know, it's like a perfect pairing. 
This one is our super cute A-line skirt. It's very comfortable, stretchy, easy to wear. And yeah, so you could, with a denim skirt, you could tuck in the shirt or you could do the little tie or the hair band trick or whatever you wanna do. So you could either have it untucked and then kind of tied to the side or you can tuck it in with or without a belt. It's really up to you. Or you could even half tuck it too. You can half tuck and leave out part of the shirt. So here is how I've got it styled. So let me untuck it. You can see that on the bottom it just has the 1975 US Tour down there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you the full graphic, but I usually kind of have it tied up so you can't fully see it. See if you tied it there, super duper cute. If you did the half tuck, even with a belt, like a half tuck there, let me see if I can do this one handed. And then you've got it kind of out. I would probably kind of tuck it on the sides like that. So yeah, lots of options of how you can wear it with a denim skirt. This one might be my favorite one ever. It's definitely in the top three for sure. I stinking love this shirt. It is so cute. So this one is a men's, so I got a small and it still totally works. It just fits more like a t-shirt. Whereas the other ones are, I believe, like a women's style from the women's department. So they have a little bit more of like a cut in on the body to them, but the small still totally works in those. So that's just an FYI. So still wearing a small in this one, but this is a men's shirt. But I just love everything about it. I love the distressing, the bleaching. It just looks like it was like splattered with bleach, which is so stinking amazing. Love the Rolling Stones um, writing there. I love the the writing, the style of writing. And I like the graphic. I like that the graphic is not giant. A lot of Rolling Stones graphics are this sort of a design is huge sometimes. So I like that this one is not quite as big. I just um, styled it by tying it to the side there, did the little hair tie trick, put on a denim skirt with it. So this is just an easy get out the door sort of a, a styling. But I have worn this with um, jeans, shorts, kimono, so many different options of how you could style this one, but it's just like easy, get you out the door. It's not the softest, it's kind of more like that Amazon one. I don't know if it's just the fact of the bleaching or something. It's still a soft shirt, but it's not like pajamas soft, but such a fun graphic, it's so good. I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker on these last few because we've been chatting for a long time. So back to Hot Topic, Hot Topic is definitely one of my number one places, if not the number one place that I look for graphic tees, particularly band tees, and almost always online just because they have more of a selection online. I can usually find the band I'm looking for, my size, it's just easier, and a lot of their styles are online exclusive. So usually find most of my band tees from their website. So this one right here is a Rolling Stones shirt. Such a fun, colorful graphic to it. It is so bright and fun, white background to it. I love all the colors in here. I think this graphic is so, so fun. So I just tied it up, probably, I don't know if I would use like a clear tie or maybe, I don't even know. I, honestly, I probably wouldn't care. I would just grab whatever I can find and throw it on the shirt because who cares? So I've got it on like this, got it with that same kimono except in black. So I like that it kind of pulls in the black from the graphic, but then you just like, your eye just goes to all that color, which is super fun. Have it on with a denim skirt. This one is more of a pencil denim skirt, so it's not quite as pulled away from the body. It hugs the body a little bit more. So have it on with this. So it ends up being kind of a little bit like, I wouldn't say dressy, but maybe a little bit more girly or something. I really like this combo. Just gonna straight up show you the shirts on these last few. Love this shirt. This is again, probably in my top three to five because it is such a fun kind of burnout gray, um, acid wash-ish looking pattern background to it. So love that. This is a 21 Pilot shirt. So I really like the graphic on it. It's pretty with the bright yellow, but then with that gray, I just love that the gray has that acid wash sort of a look to it. So fun. This one's really soft and stretchy and comfortable. Now this one, I did get a small in this one. I think that this said, well, no, I think it said that it did, that you did need to size up in it. So what did I, I don't know why I got an extra small. Anyway, I needed a small in this one. So this is a small. So that's what I'm wearing in this one. And it's awesome. 
usually would wear it tied up. So here's this one. I love you some alternative rock. Here is a fun Nirvana shirt, just the classic Nirvana graphic to it. It's looking, um, the actual graphic is not crooked. I just have my arm up and just a little FYI, a little fun fact about me. This shoulder is higher than this one on me. I don't know why. Well, actually I think it comes from my hips anyway. Yeah, this shoulder is higher than that one. So the graphic is not uneven. I am. <laughs> So here it is, it's super cute. I love that it's black with the bright yellow graphic. You've probably seen this graphic before. They usually almost always have this one um, in stock or some form of this sort of a graphic tee, which is fun. And yeah, as far as cut to it, it kind of hugs the body a little bit, but it, it's like a, I would describe it as a slim t-shirt. So yeah, I would just wear this all different ways. It's one of those more kind of basic ones that you could definitely pair with um, some kind of a printed kimono. So this is one that I would probably wear with a printed kimono or definitely the lace one for sure. But if you're looking for one that's a little bit more subdued, this would be a great one for that. And lastly, this journey shirt. I love the colors in this one. So it's a black background and then has kind of like purpley pink sort of colors in it. So pretty. I just tied it up. So I would say both this one and the Nirvana shirt would be great for pairing with a printed sort of a kimono because they have less going on as far as the color story in them. I think that you can really pair them nicely with a printed, um, not graphic tee, kimono, just because there's less going on. So I would pair this with, I don't know, like a floral sort of a kimono. I would pair that one with maybe like a palm print or something just to kind of pull in some of the colors. So maybe find a floral that has a little bit of pink in it with that one, find like a, a yellow or something like that, or a green that would kind of pull in that sort of a color story into it. So that's just a little FYI, that's why I like these. I mean, I love the graphics themselves, but these are a great example of what you could pair with a more printed kimono. So yeah, here is this one, last one to show you. Okay guys, so those are all the goodies that I have to share with you in this video. So hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what some of your favorite graphic tees are that you own. Do you collect them? What do you think about them? What are some of your favorite ways to style them? I would love to know that too. And then also if you have any like secret places that you find them, I'd like to know those secrets. <laughs> cause I might want to check out those spots too. Cause I love to collect graphic tees, specifically band tees. So wraps up this video. Hello, Chester. That wraps up this video. Hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next one.